Morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system the human body is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, your supplements, dietary choices, the longevity products, skin health, the truth treatment products, formulations, ingredients. We welcome your phone calls here on the Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to wean yourself off your meds or help a loved one wean themselves off their medication and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we want to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number. And likewise, if you have a success story or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to join the Bright Side Ben team and help me in my mission to educate the world about how important and powerful and effective and therapeutic a good nutritional supplement program can be, how life-changing a good nutritional supplement program can be, and earn some residual thank you checks all at the same time, please join the Bright Side Ben team. You can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it. You can also head over to my website, brightsideben.com, or my blog, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. Sign up right off the website. And you can, of course, purchase any of the uh, Longevity products we recommend or you hear advertised on the program right off the website, including the Beyond Tangy Tangerine Multivitamin Mineral Powder. Add a little bit to water and drink. And for most folks, you'll notice results. Most folks will notice results within, within one or two doses. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. And if you're interested in our Retinol 5% Gel or any of our Truth Skin Health products loaded with vitamin C, head over to Truth Treatments. Dot com, truth treatments, plural, truth treatments dot com. All right, we're talking fats, fatty hormones, fatty vitamins, essential fats, or as most of us call them, essential fatty acids, omega 3s and omega 6s, particularly. These are two special fats that are required by the body, just like air is required by the body, just like water is required by the body, just like love is required by the emotional body, just like quality thoughts. Quality ideas are required by the mental body. This is what it means to be essential. You got to have it. Without air, you're dead. Without water, you're dead. Without love, you're dead. These are all essential substances. And in the world of nutrition, an essential nutrient is a substance that's just like air. Recently, there's been a lot of, a lot of medical backlash, I guess you'd say, about omega-3 fatty acids. Now, ever since I've been studying nutrition, at least 30 years or so, omega-3s have been glorified by nutritional savvy pharmacists and nutritional savvy everybody, really, except for your doctor, perhaps. But mm, those of us who understand nutrition have been really in awe of the stupendously valuable nature of omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3s have a reputation for being one of the most important nutritional elements, most important nutritional supplements you could ever use. And for good reason. They are powerful nerve cell, brain cell, eye cell elements. They're components of nerve cells. They're part of the sheath, the covering on a nerve cell, on an eye cell, on a brain cell. They're part of the construction of cells. This is why they're essential. Check this out. 
You can't make a cell without them. They're a key component of these nerve cells. You can't make a nerve cell, an eye cell, or a brain cell without these things. These omega-3s are a key component of the cell. But here's where it becomes so important. You get them from food and from supplements. Your body can't make it. Can you see how important this is? We cannot make nerve cells, brain cells, eye cells without omega-3 fats. What happens is under deficiency conditions, the body will stick any kind of fat it can find in those cells as a replacement. You don't think that's going to have an impact on health? Obviously it will. Without ingesting these substances via supplements or food, you can't make the cells and that makes them critical. Yet Recently, over the last year, or actually maybe the last three or four years, the mainstream medical model has been attempting to do a hatchet job on how important these things are. Almost every few months you get a study that says, omega-3s fail to help for cardiovascular issues. Omega-3s fail to help with a, uh, a cognitive function. Omega-3s fail, 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 fail. Omega-3s don't work, don't work, don't work. This is the drumbeat coming at us from the medical model, completely ignorant of the fact that you can't make a brain cell without these things. You think that's important? Well, it's important from a common sense perspective, but maybe not from your doctor perspective. There was a, uh, a, uh, a hit piece on omega-3s on Frontline last, uh, I think about two weeks, maybe three weeks ago, Frontline's this PBS show that exposes, supposedly exposes scams and scandals in the news. Anyway, uh, they uh, did this piece on omega threes. It was actually a, a piece on a hit piece on nutritional supplementation in general. But they focused on omega threes, saying there's no evidence to warrant omega three supplementation, and the average person gets enough in his diet. This is what the mainstream pharmacomedical model wants us to believe that we get these things from our diet. Wrong. You can't get them from your diet. It's almost impossible unless you're eating seeds, a lot of them, and grinding them up. Of course, then you have to deal with the, with the anti-nutrients that are in seeds. Fish are also a good source, but you, to the degree you cook your fish, to the degree your fish is processed, you're going to get less and less omega-3s. Not to mention you'll have to interact with all the toxicity that's in fish and seafood these days. Bottom line is you're not going to get the stuff from food no matter what you hear from your doctor or front line. And it's not fair. To say this is just, it's just wrong. This is from JAMA, from the uh, Association for Research in Vision and Ophthalmology 2013 annual meeting. Omega-3s fail to halt macular degeneration. This doctor named Dr. Chu apparently tested not just omega-3s, but omega-3s and, and beta carotene and vitamin E uh, in addition, and vitamin C. And what uh, Dr. Chu determined was that omega-3 fatty acids did not work. They found no significant difference in the rates of macular degeneration. So, of course, now people think they're useless. Here's another one. Omega-3 supplements fail to help the heart, study finds. Uh, this one is from, uh, oh, this is a research from JAMA, JAMA Internal Medicine, Journal of the American Medical Association, taking supplements of omega-3 does not seem to reduce a person's risk of heart disease. Another one, omega-3 supplements fail to show effect against cognitive decline. This is so unfair, you guys. This medical model that focuses on whether something fixes a disease to determine its value and importance does not serve us as human beings because it's not about sickness, it's about health. This is the problem with the medical model, really. If you want to if you want to zoom into the real problem with the medical model is it focuses on sickness and disease and mitigating or reducing the effects. It doesn't focus on health. Your doctor doesn't study health. He studies disease. And that's not just a semantical difference. That's not just a word difference. It's an entire worldview difference. Your doctor and it's not him. It's not like he's a bad person. I know I say it all the time, but I want to reinforce this. This is not about the individual doctor. It's about the model. The doctor is just immersed in the model. He's swimming in it. He's, he's swallowed up by it. The model focuses on illness, and it considers nutritional supplementation valuable only as far as they help with illness. But that's not how they work. We gotta reframe this thing. Nutritional supplementation is about being alive. You can't be alive fully and functionally without these things. All right, I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're coming back on the bright side right after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. 
Visit GCNlive.com today. All right, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you have a health challenge you need help with, let us help you change your life today. Or let us help you change the life of a loved one or family member or workmate today as well. We can get you on a good nutritional supplement program. If you want to wean yourself off your medication, we can help you do that. Or if you have a success story or you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel and our Truth Balm and Truth Serum and Omega-6 Healing Cream, super duper. I didn't know what, what to call it, but I because it, it does everything. The Omega-6 Healing Cream, it moisturizes, it's anti-aging, it's skin lightening. Great for chap lips, but really what it does is it heals the skin. When you're looking for an anti-aging product, or you're looking for any kind of skincare product, really, what you're looking for is healing. Healing is the acceleration of uh, the growth of tissue, of skin, of, of moisture factors, and of collagen and connective tissue fibers. That's what healing is about. It's about the growth of these things. Well, guess what? That's what anti-aging is about. And you know what? If you can't take your wrinkle cream and put it on a cut or a scrape and have that cut or scrape heal, that wrinkle cream doesn't work, period. Because fighting wrinkles is healing. That's right. If you take your fancy schmancy wrinkle cream and put it on a cut or scrape and you don't get some kind of acceleration and healing, you just wasted your money. No matter what the kindly doctor with the white coat on who says that he formulated it, not, tells you. It's just common sense. But if you use our Truth Skin Health products, all of them, on a cut or scrape, you'll notice not only is that cut or scrape he, uh, soothed, but it's also healed, with the exception of the retinol, which is super aggressive. But if you put the true, even retinol, by the way, will, ex will accelerate healing, but it is a little bit aggressive. But if you use our Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Balm, or Truth Serum on a cut, scrape, burn, baby's diaper rash, eczema, you're going to notice healing and dramatic healing, like noticeable healing. <laughs> not like I think, like I know. If you burn yourself with a curling iron, or you got a, a, a chapped lip, or you got any kind of scrape, and you put the Omega-6 Healing Cream on, the, on your skin, you'll notice results within a day. That's how you know your wrinkle cream's working. Anyway, you find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, and check out our skin health blog at truthtreatments.com, also my Facebook page, The Truth with Ben. All right, we're talking uh, Omega-6 fats, particularly fats in general, and Last week, a couple weeks ago, Frontline ran a hit piece on how there's not enough evidence to warrant omega-3 supplementation. This, this idea that omega-3s, and, and it is in the news, if you Google it, you'll see all kinds of studies and articles that say omega-3s don't work. It's because we look at work, W-O-R-K, quote, I'm doing little air quotes here, work, as whether they somehow reverse the, d the disease process. That's not how nutrition works. That's not the right question to ask when we're asking, does something work? It's not whether it heals disease, it's whether it's used by the body. The very nature of essentiality, the very nature that of something being essential means you cannot live without it and you will live less and less effectively as you have less and less. But doctors don't look at it that way. They look at the body as diseased, not as potentially healthy, but as diseased, as sick. And they're looking to mitigate or change the symptomology of disease, not to get the body healthy. So nutrients are not drugs. They don't work like that. You can't assess the value of omega-3 fats by whether they have a drug-like effect. That's not fair, and it's misleading. And it misleads us. You have to look at these things as essential nutrients that the body cannot live without, that are not present in the SAD, the SAD the standard American diet, and I would venture to say the standard world diet. It's not just the Americans that eat crappy. The French eat crappy too. And the Italians and the Germans and the Israelis and the English and every other country in the world eats crappy because food companies own the planet. You know the food companies and the drug companies? These are the same, same big multinational companies. Nestle, for example, Kraft. These huge, huge food companies, they own the drug companies for, uh, in many cases. It's all the same thing. It's the chemical industry, really. So whether or not it, uh, 